Guys, what's up? I want to talk to you about producing content, uh, but I want to reframe that real quick because when we talk about producing content, it sounds like homework. It sounds like this other thing that we have to do and it's scary and there's all this fear. I want to reframe it. Um, I want to talk about you sharing your story, right? And we're using technology, social media as a channel, as a megaphone to push your story out. Now, I want to remind you of one thing. Um, the ability that we have today to take a piece of uh, story or revelation or an idea or something self-expression and put and use this little device to push it out into the world and it doesn't matter if you have two people following you or 20,000 that is a gift right we've never had that before um, even when I started this uh, there was tumblr and I was blogging but we never had all these social media platforms where you could be really creative and tell your story in a very unique way. And I think we forget that, you know? I think that now content's like this thing, we're like, ah, oh, I don't wanna do it. It's such a gift, like that wall coming down and we can distribute. Um, and I think also for me, because I have the whole film story and screenwriting story, um, just the idea that you don't have to go through a distribution channel that you are the distribution channel blows my mind. So I want to remind you guys of that. I'm going to break this down into macro and micro, right? As Gary Vee says, I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to talk about it as in, in, uh, through the, the, the clouds and the dirt, right? The big picture and then the day to day. So here's the macro, the big stuff. Um, the macro number one is, and I'm sure you've heard me say this, it's so true document over produce and I'll tell you why first what does it mean to document means to take a giant highlighter marker and make it make a mental note um, or use your phone actually write the note down when you have a revelation when you have an idea when you hear something when you watch something um, and you're like wow this is really good I want to share this whether it's a sentence or it's like this whole concept start taking that right uh, through your life and your learning and you're, you're sharing that so basically you become a living documentary and the reason why that's so powerful is because uh, the number one thing that people do uh, that it, is they quit early it's not they, they produce content but they're, they're doing it in a way where it's not sustainable um, and what they're doing is they're producing so if they're thinking about some um, a video or a blog post and they're spending a month on it right um, it's just not sustainable because if you spend all that time on this one piece of content and it doesn't meet your expectations or it doesn't go viral or whatever, uh, it, you're going to be very discouraged to do it again, right? So the best way to do this and the most powerful way to do this is to document. Just turn your shit on. It's, it's actually how I'm doing this video. I just got home from the gym. I don't care how I look. I have fire in my belly and I have a message to give and I hang everything on that, right? Um, I'm not going through hair and makeup. I'm not writing down tedious notes. It's like I want to deliver this one thing and I'm just talking from my heart and I'm also just being authentically me. And that's always going to be the most powerful. So the reason you're documenting is because it's sustainable, right? Um, and if you think that you don't have an interesting story, uh, you are very wrong. Uh, there's no one else on this planet that has your story and sees the world the way that you see it. So here's the other thing. Um, it's not about so much what you're putting out, it's about who you are. Because people follow people, right? People follow stories. They don't necessarily follow brands. Um, yeah, I get it. I get Nike's a brand. I get they're big companies and we buy their products like Apple because it's a brand and we trust. But it all starts with a story and before you get to that level, you are a person, so you have to build trust. And the way that you do that is you be uniquely yourself and you tell your story through your eyes um, without being concerned about who's gonna like you and who's not because the people that gravitate toward you will and the people that don't, you're not gonna, you know, then they're not meant to, right? So instead of chasing, right, I talk about this a lot, be authentically you, being your solid self, and then you'll start attracting, okay? so. Document over produce. That's how you. That's how you stay sustainable, and um, it's all about consistency. It's the long game. It's doing what you do uh, by threading it into your life. And listen, if you don't do it full time, it's okay. So then do it an hour a day, do it two hours a day, but it's the consistency 
that builds trust and that gets people to discover you and come back because they heard something they relate to or they or you said something that really sparked you know something in them right if I mean, think about think about if you're a TV show and you, you and you and you and your show is only on whenever you feel like, and it's sporadic. It, it, people aren't gonna, you know, <laughs> they might watch it once and they have no idea when it's coming back on. So you have to be consistent, and um, you have to. And the way to be consistent is to document over produce. All right, so that's one. Number two, uh, try everything. All platforms. Now you're going to eventually gravitate toward what you're going to gravitate toward, right? So um, I use Facebook a lot. I use Instagram a lot. I don't use Snapchat, but I did play with Snapchat. I did force myself to make an account and play with it. Um, and then when Instagram came out with Instagram Stories, I was like, why do Snapchat when it's all on Instagram, right? Um, play with everything. I I'm never really on LinkedIn, but I still post there. Um, I still post on Tumblr, even though it's like no one's on it, um, just because I just want to push, put stuff out, you know. And even if it's two people who who are going to read it, then that's that's fine. Uh, so play with all your all your platforms um, that are out there, and then you're going to start tightening the vice and, and going toward what you gravitate toward. Um, you're going to find out through the market um, where you're more popular. I play with YouTube. And um, no one liked it. <laughs> I had no idea what I was doing. I was editing and being stupid. Uh, YouTube is not my channel. It's not my platform. But I still play with it. I have like hundreds of videos on YouTube. Um, it, it's, the value is in actually you rolling up your sleeves and getting your hands dirty and experimenting. Okay? It's not about you turning something in and, and um, judging yourself on it because that's not going to last. It's you playing with all these toys and then kind of honing in on um, your craft, what you're good at, getting confident, and then you know going from shotgun to sniper, right? And then picking a couple platforms and really putting your chips, like doubling down on that. Okay, so try everything. Uh, obviously, don't focus on likes. This is another one, I think. And listen, I'm guilty of this too. Of course, we care what people think. Of course, we're going to compare. And now, you know, there's all these metrics, right, with uh, behind the scenes with our account, so we can literally see how each post does, which is great for information, but it's not good for our mindset. It's not good for our our confidence because um, one one post may go viral, and then the next post may get no zero likes, and that's it is what it is. And there's so many factors that are outside of of, of the content. Um, it just you have no control over. It's like the movies where, in the movie business, you, you know they could put a hundred million dollars on a studio film with you know the perfect ingredients and the and a great script and all and the, you know who, the, the best actors etc. And they could totally bomb right, and, or they could pick up a, a a movie made by a couple kids um, who just shot something on their camera like the Blair Witch Project and that thing blows up and it has to do with timing or whatever. So there is a huge piece of this that's uncontrollable. It's just magic and you have to, um, not focus on likes and, uh, predict how things are going to go. Instead, you just have to focus on giving value and pushing your stuff out there because you want to tell a story. You want to share, uh, something you think is going to, to help other people, right? Including your story in general. So, now the other one is don't copy. Uh, I think a lot of people see something and they think it's popular or something's trending or whatever. Now you could write something about a popular topic. I think that's great, but do it through your own lens. Do it with your own perspective. If you end up copying, you're going to be invisible. So just because someone else does something that is unique, I mean, imagine imagine someone trying to copy someone like um, Quentin Tarantino. Right, who's very distinctively, he has his own way of storytelling. Um, and some people hate him, some people love him. But you, you, when, when that movie opens, any Quentin Tarantino movie opens, you know instantly it's a Quentin Tarantino film. You can't copy that, right? So, and, and that's just one example. You, know, you could pick any artist, you could pick a, a music, anything, right? So Led Zeppelin, I mean, whoever, right? So you are your unique voice. Don't lose that by trying to copy someone else. And you know, there's a process where you have to find your voice, right? Now I want you to give yourself a room and a runway for that. It's not gonna happen overnight. Uh, I've been uh, quote unquote tell, uh, sharing my story or quote unquote pro uh, producing content for over a decade, you know, and I'm still changing and discovering my voice and switching shit up and it's fun. So, um, but at the end of the day, if you're uniquely you, then 
uh, that brand kind of emerges, right? And people trust that because you're being consistent with who you are, right? You're not trying to be someone else, you're not copying. Um, bottom line under macro is there are no hacks, there are no shortcuts. I know that you know you might uh, there might be like a webinar on how to grow your following, and there's all this shit out there because or like uh, how to like um, hop the fence with algorithms and all this stuff. If that's what you're interested in, it's going to show in your content, and it's going to show that you're 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 doing this just for the likes, and it's just it's just people are going to smell that. So um, just tell yourself there's no hacks, right? And it's also like that with life. Um, stop thinking about ways to get things faster just think about the quality right is it honest to you are you enjoying it um and then it's a numbers game meaning you put 10 things out there and one will do really well right and uh uh gary Van vanderchuk has this thing saying that one's greater than zero meaning that you know if you get one new person it's it's better than nothing um, don't expect to get thousands and if that's your expectation and it doesn't meet that then suddenly you quit then that means that you're not making it about other people or sharing your story you're making it about you your ego likes and all that right so that's definitely a losing game um, that being said I also struggle with it I'm human you know I look at and see how some blog posts are doing and some aren't and etc and wonder why and you know all that stuff but you gotta be able to manage that so that doesn't become the um, the stone in your shoe that doesn't become what prevents you from sharing your story okay now let's talk about some micro tips um, the power of titles titles are really important and I would start with instead of seeing what's cool I know lists are very popular right or like how to do this in three ways and, and, and I get it you could definitely do all that stuff but the first thing I would do is ask yourself would you click on this is this something you would read make something for you first right and then make it for other people so if you look at some of the stuff that I do um, there are little ideas that I geek out about and I, I'm doing it for me you know I like I'll grab something and I'll, and I'll film recently I've been filming things where I'm, I'm kind of at a distance and it looks like I'm a little character in a movie and then I'll do voice over that and I don't if it may, might be popular might not but I'm having fun with it um, and there's value in switching shit up so it makes it fun and interesting, right? I love like stretching and being different. Um, not on purpose, but because that's honest to me, right? And that, that taps into the, uh, the artist in me and it's what makes it sustainable because it's interesting. Um, if not, you could run the risk of just being a vending machine and you'll wake up and you'll be like, oh, I gotta produce content. Oh, it's that time. Oh, I have to push out four things, whatever. And then it's you're stripping the fun away and then that's not sustainable and it's not good like it's it's going to show in, in your work right so under the power of titles think of titles that are catchy um you could definitely follow trends you know listicles and how to do that absolutely but but do it your own way use your own words um play around with different stuff don't go so abstract with titles that uh it just it's vague so anything that is vague um, because there's so much noise out there and, there and people have such small limited attention spans these days that um, you have to grab them like that's a fact so yes be creative but also be very potent um, I put everything into a shot class uh, that's because that's who I am um, that's honest to me and that is what my brand is but it wasn't because I sat down and thought what's a cool idea or a brand you know why don't I be the guy that tries to simplify no it, it, it was it, I didn't reverse engineer it I just said who is John Kim oh he is someone who has to simplify things because he doesn't understand um, because I don't read or because I was you know I'm not academic in that way and so that's honest to me and so that shows in everything I do right so what is honest to you and how can you spread that into everything you do? Uh, because people will be able to relate to that because even though that's uniquely you, you're also a person and other people are gonna relate to how you think and how you see the world too, right? So, power of titles is one. Uh, and I think I already mentioned this, switching shit up, doing different things, don't keep doing the same thing. That being said, don't make every post so different that it's just like very confusing, right? It still has to be under the umbrella of your message of um, what you're going to say. So my, my stuff, even though I talk about fitness and I talk about whatever, um, there's humor in it because that's just me. I'm very dry and sarcastic and I choose to, to find humor in life. Um, 
there's going to be silliness. There's going to be some breakdancing. There's going to be, you know, motorcycles like right behind me. There's going to be all the stuff that I love. But it's all under. It all goes back to self-betterment and life and wellness. And, you know, um, even if I talk about motorcycles, I bring it back to seeking nectar or how they make you present or adventure or date night or whatever, right? So I think it's fun to adventure out and talk about a broad spectrum of things, but always kind of bring it back to what you do. You know, if you're an energy coach, bring it back to energy. If you're a meditation coach, bring it back to that. Uh, if you're a fitness coach, you're gonna bring it back to fitness, you know, nutritionist, etc. You know what I'm saying, right? So since I'm a therapist, life coach, yes, I talk about life, but I always bring it back to, um, usually it's, you know, I've kind of become the relationship, dating guy, love, um, some fitness stuff, but uh, I always make sure I bring it back to, um, you know, what, what I talk about, right? Uh, some other tips, micro, comment on everything. And I will be the first to admit that I am, I, it just, I struggle with this because um, it's not that I don't want to, it's just a time thing. And I think as your platform grows, you're gonna have less and less time to comment on, on everyone's uh, comments, you know? Uh, but it's so important. It, it, it gives, it's probably the best buy-in you know, think about this. If you're on someone's page that, that you enjoy and you write something and that person actually comments back, you you know, suddenly you 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 just you feel like there's a relation, a real relationship. You don't feel like you're just a number. And so, um, if you give the people who follow you, just make sure um, if you give them any kind of value and they comment, make sure you comment back. Make sure you engage with your community. That's how friends tell friends about your page. Um, there will be eventually a point like if you have a million followers and I'm not there yet but if you have it's it's literally impossible to comment on every single but you should definitely spend a couple hours a day if you have it to um, go in and engage it's just as important to engage as to actually produce content um, and, and I'm guilty of that I'm telling you right now that it's something that I need to work on as well okay another one on their micro is uh, collaborate, right, and make each other accountable. I think a lot of people, um, they get overwhelmed, they lock themselves into a room. You gotta know what works for you, you know? You could start a small group. Uh, people do, I mean, think about in college when you, there were study groups, right? Make, uh, and think about fitness, right? I don't work out by myself. I make sure I take a class or, or I work out with my, 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 my fitness tribe and they push me. Uh, every startup, has has a bunch of people that are you know different departments pushing each other if you're a band so you don't need to do this alone um, collaborate reach collaborate with uh, with people in this community um, you can they're all they're all relating they're all in the same space they're all you know um, maybe different places with social media as far as followings and stuff but they're all doing it you know so um, Pick five people and say, hey, make me accountable. I'll make you accountable. Um, or you guys can meet once a m uh, month and, and roundtable ideas, right? Like keep it interesting. I remember um, a couple years ago I started an entrepreneurs group and we met twice a month. And it was amazing. It was like complete fuel and refreshing um, to sit down and talk about business and learn from each other and, and, and all that. And it just made it so much easier. So that's a big one that people usually don't do uh, is make a group, collaborate, uh, pass ideas around, make each other uh, accountable. So those are some uh, macro and micro tips on producing content, uh, but I want to reframe that. Those are ways that you can share your story. Um, I want to end with this. I think intention is everything, and I think intention bleeds through everything, and people can smell that shit like a shark can smell blood. If your intention is in the right place and if it is in a place of, I wanna give value, right? I wanna teach someone something, I wanna share something, I wanna uh, share a part of my story because um, I went through something and I want someone to who's going through it to learn something. Um, if, you're, if your intention, your heart's in the right place and you put some work and effort behind that, I, and you're authentic and you're real, right? You're not bullshitting. You are who you are. I guarantee you, you will get followers. You will get activity um, because that intersection is very potent. You being authentically you, your intentions giving um, from a giving instead of taking place, right? Attracting instead of chasing and putting hard work behind it. I'm up at 5 a.m. most of the week with 
in the coffee shop, typing my ass off every fucking day. And listen, I get that I do this full time. So, and all you guys have jobs, or you know, some of you guys have jobs, of course. But I also had a job. I also worked full time, and I found time for this. So, if you can do do those three things, and you do it consistently by documenting and keep it sustainable, um, and stick with it, and have fun with it, uh, you will have a community and uh, it will empower you and you'll be giving a gift to the world by sharing your story. All right, guys, have fun and keep sharing your story. It's the most powerful thing you will ever own.